again you can follow uh, any method solving left hand side first method can be i can take lcm or i can convert it into sin and cos whatever suit your understanding so my understanding always go with sin and cos i always like to go with that thing so over here tan can be written in sin theta upon cos cos theta upon 1 plus 1 plus cos by sin cos theta upon sin theta. sin theta there is a plus yeah. so cos theta upon sin theta. theta over here your handwriting also matters the neater you write it is easy for you to understand sin theta upon cos theta now I will take LCM over here first and over here. Okay. So sine theta upon cos theta divided by I'll take the LCM sine theta plus cos theta. Is this thing clear? Is this sine theta will get multiplied over here. Is that thing clear? Divide. Because this is the division. This is the division. Yes. This line is showing us division. division. Okay. So this is my first part. Plus Oops. same thing. Cos theta upon sine theta. Sin theta divided by because yes. this is the line of division. I'll take the LCM over here. Cos theta, cos theta minus sin theta. sin theta upon cos theta. So this whole thing is one. Hmm. Why I'm doing this thing? Because the division part, I will do the reciprocal. Hmm. Reciprocal of the right hand side. Sin theta upon cos theta multiplied by sin theta upon Theta, sin theta plus cos theta. Okay, so this is one bracket for me. And over here, cos theta upon sin theta multiplied by cos theta upon cos theta minus sin theta. So, I don't think so. Anything getting cancelled anywhere, isn't it? So, I'll just multiply the numerator by numerator. So, I'll get sine square theta upon. <coughs> As I told you, please do not multiply till the time we need it. Cos theta multiply by sine theta plus sine theta plus cos theta. Plus cos theta upon sine theta cos theta minus cos square theta. Yeah, cos square theta and sine theta over here. Okay. Any doubt? No. As of now. No. So over here, is there anything common which common. is So taking LCM once again, cos theta minus sine theta, cos theta plus sine theta. If I take LCM in that case only, no? so there was a small mistake over here. It should be minus over here. You already minus over here. Okay, so I'm just correcting this thing. This is minus, this is minus, this is minus, and this is minus. Yeah, now we are on the right track. 
that what i was thinking why i am not getting anything common but even right now if you see this is sin minus cos this is cos minus sin so we don't have matching thing now over here it's a very important thing to learn which is a minus b can be equals to b minus a in only one condition if i take minus common if i take minus common i'll explain one more time if i take minus common this a will become negative a and this positive. negative a negative b will become positive so basically a minus b is equals to b minus a if i take minus common so why i'm teaching you this thing so what i'm going to do i'm going to take minus common from here okay, okay. if i take minus common what will happen sin square theta upon cos theta sin theta minus cos theta minus outside so cos square theta upon sin theta and here it will come sin theta minus cos theta it's a very very important step normally student find it very very difficult to solve this thing to make it same if you see now sin theta minus cos theta sin theta minus cos theta is same yes. now i can take common outside so 1 upon sin theta minus cos theta cos theta outside so is remaining sin square theta upon cos theta minus cos square theta upon sin theta in the bracket now again i will take lcm over here so what will be the lcm sin over cos theta sin theta so let me just write the bracket so lcm would be sin theta sin theta cos theta and similarly over here this will get multiplied by this and this will get multiplied by this cross multiplication once again so numerator will become sin cube theta minus cos cube theta, cube theta. so what is the identity of a cube minus b cube you know what is the identity a cube minus b cube we have learned this thing in class 9 mm -hmm. a minus b a square plus b square plus ab okay so that is the identity for a cube minus b cube similarly a cube plus b cube identity would be a plus b A square plus B square minus A. So I'm just sharing both the identities so that you can revise. Now, over here, I'll use that identity sine theta minus cos theta. So A minus B, A square. plus b square plus multiplication sin theta into cos theta upon sin theta into cos theta. Sin now, theta, cos theta. Now over here, can you see this full thing getting cancelled because everything is in multiplication right now. Okay. So this will get cancelled. So what is remaining in the numerator? And this part is one. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. So what I'm getting one plus sine theta cos theta upon sine theta cos theta. That is what I'm getting right now. 
Now, what was asked? It was asked 1 plus sec theta into cos sec theta. So, we have to convert. Now, one more rule which you should remember. If we have more than one thing, binomial, trinomial, and denominator is monomial, let's say two, so we can split that. Yes. We have been learning this thing from smaller grades. Yes. So this thing, if you remember, we have discussed. So over here, this will get split. So one by, by sine sin theta is cos theta plus sine theta multiplied by cos theta upon sine theta. Sine theta multiplied by cos theta. So this will get cancelled. This will give me one. Okay. And over here on the right hand side, one upon sine theta is cosec theta. Yes. Multiply by one upon cos theta is cosec theta. So this is the answer. Hence proof. This was third part was very important question. I'll just show you the whole working. Chances are it will come as it is. You can take a screenshot later.